In this video, I'm going to show the simplest way to run Python batch jobs using Oracle Cloud Service. But first, what are jobs and why is it important? So about jobs, job service or job services in generally enables you to run repeatable tasks on fully managed infrastructure. This task could be, for example, any use case like data preparation, model training, hyperparametric tuning, etc., etc. And in AI and machine learning space, these tasks are very important because it's a part of the ML ops or machine learning and AI lifecycle. Usually, you have to access the data, you have to prepare the data, train, build a model, store the model, or deploy the model, or do some batch inference with it. So let's see how easy it is to do this using the Oracle Cloud Service. So we are going to start with a very simple Hello World job. It just has this two prints inside. And we want to run this Python file as a job using Oracle Cloud. So let's jump to the uh, Oracle Cloud and see how we can do this there. So, OK, let's see how we can create a job that executes this Hello World file. So I'm in my data science service on Oracle Cloud. And here on the left side on the resources, you will see on the notebooks that there is a new resource that it's called jobs. To create a new job, just click on create job button. And in this new window that is going to appear, you have the ability to set a name if you want, description, the both optional. And here on the upload job artifact, you can select the artifact that should be executed as a job. You can go for single Python file, single bash cell file, or you can zip your entire Python or shell project and run it as a job as well. In my case, I'm just selecting the Hello World job file that I want to execute. Here under configurations, I can set also custom environment variables, command line arguments that I can read from my code. More about that a little bit later. Under shapes, we can select the shape that we would like to use. We can go between Intel or NVIDIA GPUs. In my case, I'm going to keep this one because it's a, just a very simple uh, bad job. Under logging, you can select to enable logging and as such, autom all STD out and STD arrows will go automatically into the logging into uh, Oracle Logging Cloud Service. In my case, I'm going to select this job group here. And I'm going to select also enable automatic log creation so that on every job run, a new log will be automatically created for me. I'm going to set up also a storage. A minimum is a 50 gigabyte. This is a block storage. It's going to be also automatically wired to your job. And I need to select the virtual cloud network and subnet, which is by default selected by me for me in this case. Once all this is set, just click on create and the job is created for me automatically. But this is not the job run yet. We just configured the job. It's like a template that defines Oracle Cloud what resources should be used to execute this Python file. Notice that once a job is created, you no longer be able to change the Python file. This is by design. All jobs are immutatable on Oracle Cloud. You can change some of the parameters, for example, custom environment variables or command line arguments on every job run. So now that the job is already created, I can run this job by just clicking on this button here, start a job run. I have the ability to change the logging, set a new name if I want to, and also overwrite or add new environment variables or command line arguments or change the max runtime of the job. In my case, since I'm not using environment variables and command line arguments, I'm going to go by not going to put anything here and just click start. My job is now accepted. And what's going to happen next is Oracle Cloud is going to provision the infrastructure automatically for me. It's going to get my Python file. It's going to execute the Python file on this cloud infrastructure. It's going to store the logs for me. And then on the end, when the execution finish, Oracle Cloud is going to deprovision the infrastructure. You are only going to pay for the duration of the utilization or usage of the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. The provisioning time and the deprovisioning time is not built. It just takes a few minutes for your infrastructure to get provisioned. Your artifact is going to get executed and then you will see that the job succeeded. So let's see the logging uh, and the uh, prints that we had from this job. For To do so, just click on the log here. This link is going to bring, automatically bring you to the uh, log service in Oracle Cloud. Just change the time and you will see our Hello World job prints appear here in the logging. 
So in some cases, you may would like to control the behavior of your Python code by passing custom environment vari variables or command line arguments. So here I have a code that is reading uh, environment variable that should be called test name. And if the environment variable is not available, it's going to print unknown. So this is the same hello world file that we had before. We just extended so that it's not only hello and some name after that, but, but it's going to use the value of the environment variable test name. So let's see how this is going to work when we use jobs. So again, I'm back into um, the um, data science service and I selected on the resources jobs and I'm going to create a new job now using the modified hello world file. So let's create create again, click on select file, then I'm selecting the new file here. And then the difference now between this and the previous job is that under the environment variables, I'm now going to add environment variable that it's going to call, be called test name. If you remember, if you go back to our code, I have the name of the environment variable that has to be called test name that it's expected into my code. So if we go back here, you will see this is the same name and I, I provided the value of this variable. Now, since my code is only reading the environment variables, everything else stays the same. I'm not going to provide custom uh, command line arguments. I just need to select the shape and the logging again. For logging, I use the same options. So the same log group and again, enable automatic log creation. My storage is 50 gigabyte and the same virtual cloud network. And I'm going to use the VM standard to one as well. The creation is done and I can now start the job. And what's interesting here is that actually I can modify the value of the variable. If you remember the custom environment variable name uh, key was test name. So I can specify a different value here if I want to. So consider the creation of the job itself as a template where you can provide environment variables default values and you can use as such in every job run. But if you would like to override something, you can do this on every job run itself. Now, until we're waiting for this job to execute, I can show you also another example where we are going to use custom environment variables and command line arguments at the same time. Let's see how that looks like. So here is another job. Here is the same job, but we extended it a little bit. And as you can see, we are not using any proprietary software or frameworks to be able to read the, uh, the custom environment argument or the environment variables. So this is the same sample, but we extended it now to read also the argument variables. As you can see, we're using a standard way, standard Pythonic way to read the command line arguments and the environment variables. We are not enforcing any specific additional library requirements to be able to do so when you use jobs at Oracle Cloud. So here in my case, I'm re expecting to read additional command line argument, which is going to be called minus G or it's going to be called minus minus greeting. So you have the ability to select between the two options. And again, I also expect to have a custom environment variable, which is called test name. Again, under jobs, just create the create job, select the file. I set the custom environment variable, and then I set the command line argument minus G high. So I'm changing the hello to high now. Again, I set the uh, logging for this job, the storage size, the VCN and the subnet, and I can create this job. Now that the job is created, I can just run this job. I'm not going to change anything here today. I'm just going to execute with the configurations that were provided in the original job. And let's wait until the end of the job execution. All right, the two jobs are done. Let's see the logging of the jobs. So this is the first job that I created. This is with the um, custom environment variable. So let's click on the job run itself, which succeeded and then select the logging itself, modify the filter time, and then we can see job done, hello, load me on tools. So this one worked. Let's go to the next one, which was using the command line arguments and see the logging there. So this is the last job that I created. We can go to the default configuration just, just to confirm that the command line argument is there and that the custom environment variable is there as well. Click on the job run, then on the lock, change the filter, and then we can see Hi, Ludmil. Hi was the CLI argument that we passed to the job. I hope this was useful to you. If you like, subscribe to the channel. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can run entire Python project as a job. See you next time.